It all came down to the final few holes at Tamarack Country Club to determine who would become this year's MJ Mid-Amateur Champion. Several players held the lead during Thursday's final round of the 10th edition of the Mid-Am, but Trevor Randolph of Arcola rose to the top at day's end to claim the Westmoreland Cup for the second straight year. Randolph fired a 1 under 69 en route to his 36 hole score of 1 over par to earn a one shot victory over Brian Comline of Black Oak, who matched Randolph's 69 for the only two subpar rounds in the two day championship. Randolph overcame a rough start to his round after he made a double bogey on the first hole. After his shaky start, Randolph birdied numbers 4 and 8 to pull back to even for the day. Two more birdies followed on numbers 11 and 12, while a bogey on the 13th set him back to one under for the day and one over for the championship. I was hitting it great. I had the four birdies in the eight-hole stretch, but I also had three others that stopped on the lip. So it was really, really good golf for you know number you know sort of in the middle of the round there. And I was just I was just very focused on uh, you know one shot at a time. It's a cliche, but really, really just able to kind of focus on the shot. He remained steady down the stretch, and his impressive up and down par save on the 18th secured the win. He faced a challenging approach shot after a wayward drive to the right, but managed to punch his second shot under a set of trees to end up just off the back of the green. I'll tell you, that, that lie on 18 back there, I don't know how many people saw it, but the lie was just gnarly. It was very, very thick, sort of sitting up. I mean, that's, that's everything I've been working on all season, so I'm pretty happy about it. He was certainly focused, knocking the shot to within a couple of feet and making a short putt to clinch the title. Tamarack's firm and fast conditions provided a true test for the starting field of 83 golfers, all aged 35 and over. You know, it was a battle out there. This course is very difficult. The greens are super fast. You hit it in the wrong spots off the tee, you're, you're playing defensive the whole way. So, uh, you know, I was really happy with all parts of my game. Randolph's win continues his outstanding season. He also won the Travis Invitational, the Hockstra Memorial, and the New Jersey State Mid-Am, as well as advancing to match play in the U.S. Mid-Amateur and representing New Jersey in the USGA Men's State Team Championship. Next up, Randolph, along with runner-up Comline, will represent Team MGA and WMGA in the upcoming French American Challenge against the League de Paris on October 18th through 19th at the Sandwich Club. For full coverage of the 10th MGA Mid-Amateur Championship, visit mgagolf.org.